Situated in the northeast of Belize, Corozal Bay Wildlife Sanctuary is the largest protected area in the country. This shallow estuarine system flows out to the Belize Barrier Reef. The Wildlife Sanctuary is considered a priority conservation area of the Mesoamerican Reef System. The sheltered waters are important in providing a mating and calving area for the West Indian manatee and includes the only known bull shark nursery in Belize. The waters also provide a home for dolphins as well as the critically endangered Goliath grouper and hawksbill turtle. Extensive seagrass beds lie in the south and mangroves line much of the coastal margin, providing important ecosystem services for the people and the wildlife of Corozal Bay. They provide a nursery area for the maintenance of fish stocks, protect the land against tropical storms, prevent erosion, and filter water before it enters the bay. Mangrove keys support nesting colonies of magnificent frigate birds, brown pelicans, reddish egrets, white ibis, and other birds, and the low dwarf mangroves support large numbers of nesting white-winged doves. Mangroves provide an important nursery area for fish for the chiwa, striped mohara, and gray snapper preferred by the coastal communities of Sateneja, Chunosh, Copper Bank, and Corozal. Also for the snook and permit, important for the sport fishing industry of San Pedro. Local fishermen identify the Spanish point system of lagoons and creeks as a critical area for maintenance of the bay's fish stocks. Here, adult chiwa, mohara, and snook enter the brackish waters to spawn. Thousands of juvenile mohara swarm into the large expanses of inundated dwarf mangrove. The shallow waters and mud bank of bulkhead shoals to the east acts as an important barrier, removing sediments and contaminants before the water enters the Belize barrier reef system just south of Hamburgers Key. Increasing coastal development is starting to impact the bay, with the removal of mangroves that protect our coastline and maintain our fish stocks. Development is necessary for Belize, but also needs to consider the maintenance of critical environmental services. Where and when we remove mangroves, we remove protection from tropical storm winds and coastal erosion, and the water filtration system that keeps contaminants and sediments from entering the bay. We remove the critical fish nursery areas that support the fishermen of the bay and their families. The Sartaneja Alliance for Conservation and Development, the co-manager of Corozal Bay Wildlife Sanctuary, recognizes the need for development but seeks to ensure that it is sustainable and maintains the values of the bay. In areas of critical importance such as the lagoons, creeks and mangroves of Spanish Point, the Alliance focuses on working with developers, supporting them in ensuring development is environmentally sustainable. The Sartaneja Alliance for Conservation and Development, bringing people together to promote conservation and development.